Welcome back. Of all the people featured in the Red Bull Culture Clash, which mimics the Jamaican Sound Clash concept, Tony Mataron was easily the most accomplished Sound Clasher in the entire competition, yet his biggest platform ever. You say that was the ultimate dub play. What does this do, though, for his brand? Tony Mataron is on our stage right now, who is no stranger to mainstream success. As you know, generated by his dirty wine. Back on our stage for this one-on-one, -on -one. sir. All right. Am I correct in saying that this was your biggest platform? I mean, sound clash-wise, yes, the biggest platform. But otherwise? Yeah, otherwise, um, Mighty Crown anniversary, 75,000 people. Re really? Where yeah. was this? Japan. In Japan? Yeah. OK, I see. All right, so in terms of sound, sound clash. Yeah, this is the biggest sound clash. So how will this impact your band? Well, it started already. I mean, already been booked, fully booked, and now the double Already? Book. In just I was, what, I was already, three days? I was already booked, and then since the, the clash, I mean, the magnitude of this clash, you know, to the look a common mind, them think I was just, oh, it's another clash. This is something that is... Um, attended by 20-something thousand people. Scream to um, nearly 2 million people while it was mm. actually, BBC was carrying yeah, it. Yeah, and MTV UK. OK. Um, they were screening, and then the subscription on YouTube. I mean, okay. do the match. Will this propel you into mainstream? Yeah, because we are the winners. Um, and the last time I checked, if you win something this magnitude, I mean, you skyrocketed into a different because each member of the mix pack team can choose whatever mm -hmm. because we can represent mix pack at any given moment any time any festival um, throughout the, the next two years or so okay so this is sound clashing moving to mainstream in a sense yeah definitely 20 odd thousand people bringing in mainstream artists like Wiz and so on yeah would mean that it is a mainstream product yeah because it's gonna be um, viewing by a lot of people. So the more people view it, the more... So we're likely to see in, in years to come yeah. more big names coming in to participate, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. From both Jamaica and hip-hop. Yeah, now you're going to find other people. Because what me, Spice, Popcorn, Cranium, J. Skull, Cersei did, we highlighted something that certain people didn't even have a knowledge of. Like, mm -hmm. if you ask, like, 90 to 80, 99 percent of Jamaica didn't even know that Red Bull culture clash existed, and 99 percent of them didn't even know that it was that big. Okay. So. It's All a right. New so. Eye. Okay. So we we congratulate you again, sir. Thanks a lot. And we look forward to you exploiting this and taking dance all yourself into bigger bigger things. Anything we got to bring it. We'll but bring we can't it. let you go without talking about um, your 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 beaten by fire links. I beat no look like that. Yes, they, um, the, to me, you know? the boom, the boom clash, just um, what about a month, two yeah. months ago, and that it's not a beating for you. No, that is not to me. I mean, Firelinks is a general, Mataran is a general. We call ourselves dinosaur. Mm -hmm. We win some, we lose some. So um, you you're conceding that him beat you properly last him, No, he not beat me properly. It's not a proper beat. No, me is a marchman. You know, me talk plain. You know, me are looking at the camera. Me talk plain. Only not beat me fear. I mm -hmm. only know only not beat me fear. Only not have judges against me. I um, want to bring crowd against me, which I didn't mind the crowd mm. against me because I'm used to that. Okay. Where the typical Jamaican people don't know about Mataran is my first time coming back home. I came back home with King of these international, Portmore. This is considered as one of the biggest historical clashes in Jamaica, Addis versus Jara in Portmore. Mm -hmm. And the whole Jamaica go against me and say, oh, Mataran a foreigner, USA, Jamaica. You can go back and go check it on YouTube. So me used to crowd against me, and by the end of the night, I had the same crowd swing. Okay. So, me never mind. All right. So, so all right. So you see, I'm sure you've been keeping abreast of what's happening with yeah. dancehall. Some controversies yeah. um, generated by the Drake sampling of many dancehall yeah. artists, uh, many songs from the catalog, from dancehall's catalog, and um, credit and feature credit and those things. What's yeah. your take on the whole thing? 
Well, if me talk, people are vex. But then again, I am the person who talk my mind, and I don't care who vex because I'm not beg nobody nothing. I mean, I ask nobody for nothing. Me just mm -hmm. you ask me a question. I gotta tell you all my thing. Well, it's double standard. Yes. One side, it's doing good. And one side, it's not really doing good. Mm -hmm. But to each his own. And a lot of people are not educated on what is good for them from what is not good for them. Okay. As we can tell throughout history. I mean, it's nice to know that they are using our music mm -hmm. and help promoting our music. But what is not nice to know is that you're using our music, but you're not getting credit for it. Okay. There's some of a problem, because no boy can use um, my Dirty Wine song and a sample in a them thing. And you give me some money, and then, but you're not giving me the credit. God, I'm ready to send you and your ancestors them back. Figure look for your ancestors. Mm. That's how I feel because I'm a Pisces and I can't hold on certain things. So this is a legal move you would make? Or I, yeah, I take it? because I'm not Pennywise and Pound Foolish. Mm. So, you want give unto Caesar what is due unto Caesar. Mm. And at the same time, yes. So you would negotiate both some both, money, both, money both, and, and credit? Yeah, mo money and credit. If you're going to give me the money, Give me the credit, too. Okay. So it's a matter of negotiation, you think? Yeah, I, I think. And the, the They were the too issues. quick to accept yeah, what was proposed? Own. And then the typical people, were not, as I say, if you're not educated a certain way, mm -hmm. you're going to jump to certain things. Okay. And never but see the bigger picture. It could be said that they were afraid of being left off. Me? They were not going to me off, you know? Okay. So, oh. okay, I got you. All right. Well, another issue is the, the extreme dancing in dance hall. Body slamming. I have a problem with As it. As a DJ. I have a problem with it. Remember, I see the same motor say Ray, say Boo. Mm -hmm. And you see them people here, yeah, on to try fight dancehall so much that on never understand. You will never win. You will not win. You know what dancehall mean? If you ask enough artists, enough people, say, oh, dancehall, dancehall mean raw. Mm -hmm. Anything were raw, meaning uncontrollable. Yes. It's like a lion out in the, the safari, the yes. great safari. It raw. Any, one minute it team, one minute it wild. One minute dance all the on a team, one minute dance all us. Because it's raw. So this is a wild yeah, it's a moment wild. in right. dance hall? Me see them um, lash out against Marvin and the dancing and where, where, where. Only enough other things to look out, man. Warm to an economical crisis. You worry about somebody a dance wicked. Remember, so them said so dirty wine kill two girls. I think, and rare, rare. I think the worry is about human lives. Young people being Who exposed. Worry about, them worry about human life? Yes. Worry about criminal we are kill people. And you know why me, me, me so uptight about it? Them quick for point out the little thing. Did you know? Did you know? You people who think, oh, that part is rare, rare, rare. Did you know? When you wake up and walk me your eyes, <laughs> and you never say a prior last night, I went, did you know you can walk outside and something just drop on you? Yes. And at the last yes, night, Tony. Like, so we will not come cherish. Tony, this concern is not with no uptown neither. I know, I know. It's certain, not with no uptown. The so-called certain people. Them this them has to do, dance hall. right, this has to do with concerned citizens. They're not concerned. Looking on at these videos. They're and, not concerned. Oh, they're, they're just some fifth columnists who will jump on any little point they get to attack the dance hall. I look at okay. this. I'm right. going to show these people something. Did you know that in America mm -hmm. and around the world, we have security and police at the gate? Mm -hmm. We don't have security enough at our gate. Count how much shooting ever going in our dance hall. You can count it, you know, from 1990 to 2016. We can document it probably about six if so much. In the physical dance In the dance hall. In our dance hall. Mm -hmm. You see it? But yet still, if something, God forbid, if something happened tomorrow, you see? That's why I'm not going to dance. That's why I'm not going to dance. But yet still. No, but as a dance hall leader, yeah. uh, um, you, you must be concerned about safety issues. Yeah, we're concerned about the safety right. issues. So when you, see, when you look but at those like videos. I don't them worry about. But we, no, not about them. Let's talk about us. Those of us, myself included, yeah. who report on it, who, who, who is a part of it, yourself, you are, you are a leader in there, you must have some safety issues that you, yeah, I mean, that you must be concerned about yeah, we are, we're concerned whether people about are safe. Because there it is that you are, you're able to say how many people get shot. So 
safety is of course yeah, in your consciousness. We, we, we try to make people safe as much as possible. Yes, so, 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 so the lick out that you're licking out on, on people. I mean, this is not a time yeah, to do that. Them, yeah, because no, there is enough that evidence that people are at risk. Yeah, but to if, matter. then if they're at risk, you're not have to come out with that. We never make it. We never use the energy to say how we should present. No, you know why? Body slamming yeah. and who should you participate know why in it. Mean I when do I that? say that, you know why I mean I do I that? think Marvin is a good dancer. You know I think I mean these I girls. That, that mean feeding there them. are women. There well. are women out there who want to do this clearly, yeah. and Marvin and them are good dancers, and yeah. they know what they're doing. Why don't you propose something that will make them do it responsibly and safely for all, yeah, and so that the rest of us even pay to see? Is them? I'm sure Marvin. Yes. Sometimes him go out about, mm. but me not go bash him for the dancing then that him do because it's not everybody Marvin is doing that with. He would do it to the one and two girl. So a patron in a dance, you have mm. a thousand people in a dance, and Marvin body slam one. Mm. And me for just say, oh, this is a problem in the dance hall. You have one like him body slam five hundred. All it takes thousand. is one life. Yeah, but one life. any life gone It's yet? not worth it. Any life gone yet? One life is not worth it. Yeah, but any life gone yet? But we can't wait till somebody die. We must preempt. Then we must do some more something. We must, we must deal there. with it. We must be sure that nobody gets hurt. Uh, joke, no extreme. Then look how much people homeless are hungry. We don't see them try to see if nobody saw where them, where them want me to see if something went happen right. yet. <laughs> that you see it? Bad manifest bad. People think bad and then when it happen, them say, oh, bad, see, they see that. that group it out. Well, right. until it happen, mm -hmm. we are going to try to prevent it from happening. Thank you, sir. Because you know, we're intelligent that. like that. But at Uno people, we are talking about, so you, this <laughs> may happen. So Listen to <laughs> me, until it happen, you can't tell me nothing. So, yet. OK, so you're using the opportunity to, to cuss out the whole of everybody. Yeah, everybody, we are trying to lash out against <laughs> to them. To cuss you out, all right. <laughs> really? Turn and my job. Them, what, where, 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 what are you doing next? What me, doing next? next, I live on JetBlue. I sleep on JetBlue. Video me eye. <laughs> You see my eyes, <laughs> When I smoke weed, them just dream it. Come on, I'm sleep. <laughs> so, I'm off again. Clean. This is guys the limit. Uh, this guy's not the limit. Oh, uh, guys. So, there you have it right here on stage. The magic. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Mataran. Talk my mind. Nobody like Tony Mataran. Because I talk my mind, I talk the truth. All right, sir. Thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. Stay with us till to come, Spice. One on one, Spice. After the break. Yes, I saw me like it. Look for me, but they owe me wine it. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Well, you know, there's so much more where that came from. And all you have to do is to click subscribe and be on stage always. When the hip hop artists doing a little dance hall in their, mm. you know, mixes as well. So dance hall is growing. I mean, the other day I hear people ask question if dance hall dead, if it this, it that. It's growing. To me, it's growing like tremendously well right now.